Hello. I pray that you are well today on this day, the day before Thanksgiving. God's grace to you. I, I want to read to you a scripture that's commonly connected to Thanksgiving, unusual though it is. Luke chapter 17. Now, on his way to Jerusalem, verse 11, Jesus traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. As he was going into a village, ten men who had leprosy met him. They stood at a distance and called out in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. When they saw him, he said, Go show yourselves to the priest. As they went, they were cleansed. One of them, when he saw he was healed, came back, praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him, and he was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, Were not all ten cleansed? Where were the other nine? Has no one returned to give praise God except this foreigner? Then he said to them, Rise and go. Your faith has made you well. Now, this is an interesting text, right? Because it's about leprosy. And if any time in history we can identify with this idea that people stood far off, where it says they stood at a distance and called out in a loud voice, help us. Jesus, master, have pity on us. Leprosy is a terrible disease where people lose their digits, where their face becomes caved in. But more significantly than the physical changes is the social realities of isolation. And so they cry out. They're all together, those 10. And God does a miracle in their life. And as God does a miracle, then the response back is one. One of the 10 receiving the miracle of the change from leprosy to clean comes back to thank. That's an interesting calculation. It's an interesting percentage. It's a sad percentage. I, I want us to think about this for a moment. What percentage of the blessings that you receive do we thank God for? What percentage of the blessings do I receive that I thank God for? God has done miracles in my life. God has intervened. I have asked him and he has intervened. And, and I can think of specific times where I, I cried out to God and said, God, I need you. I have no ability, no thought process, no way to change this. I need you to change it. And he has. And so therefore, I am so very grateful for the miracles God has done. But I do think there is a dimension of gratitude amnesia. We have an, am, an, an amnesia that doesn't give us gratitude. Consider this. What are you grateful for during this particular time? In specificity, in the time of COVID, might I be so bold, in the time of, just like leprosy, intense social distancing. Someone wrote recently that this whole experience is like being quarantined to a minimum security prison, the manner in which we must deal with one another. Maybe that's a bit extreme, but I recognize why some people can feel that way. But consider, God has said this. We're not all 10 cleansed. We can say this for ourselves. Were you not blessed? Have I not been blessed? Where are the other nine? Has no one to return to give praise to God except this foreigner? He said, rise and go. Your faith has made you well. I, I encourage you and me to take a step back and notice. Notice the blessings. Notice the blessings even in this time. And don't just notice them. Give thanks to God for them. Gratitude is a great place to live. It is a healthy place to live. It is a significant place to live. Can I thank you today? We just got done with giving away 200 boxes of food. Thank you for your generosity. These families are just grateful, just loaded two couches into someone's back of their van. They came back twice. Thank you. Gave away 400 Thanksgiving meals as people drove through. Thank you. Thank you for blessing people. I don't really know everything we can know about this time of COVID, but I know in a very basic way, there are people who have need and we can help them. Thank you 
for helping us help others to be a blessing in the midst of a time that feels like, if you will, leprosy, where people stand at a far distance and cry out, have pity on us, have mercy on us. I thank God for you. I thank God for Thanksgiving, for the opportunity to reflect upon all of his blessing. And I pray that you may know that you are a blessing in other people's lives. May, may God give us the ability to return to him, having noticed our blessings. Please pray with me. Gracious God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the ability to be a blessing. We pray that we continue to be blessings. We thank you for tomorrow. We pray for those who, who must be alone. And we pray that they may know that they are loved and cared for by you and by us. In Jesus' name, amen. God's grace to you today.